What is up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's episode of the Get or Advanced Defensive Tips, we're going to be taking a look at the I a concept that I was talking to a couple people about. S. Gibbs talks about it a lot, and I, I kind of am starting to kind of agree with it. Um, the idea is having different defenses for different formations, and uh, this is going to talk about how we can basically stop everything that anyone has to offer. Um, so, for example, we're going to first take a look at the gun snugs. Uh, we're going to talk about what we got. The idea here is we have to find out. Where, where is the deep, where's the offense weak at? So the gun snugs offense is weak, and the idea that they're longer, it's a longer developing offense. In the idea that um, if you take away the crossing patterns, the whole offense takes a while to develop. So you could send heavy pressure on us. So what we like to do here um, against a gun snugs attack is I'll typically give them a three three five two man under, and what I'll do is I'll man a line and I'll press coverage. Alright, and then I'll set my little pressure up off the edge here by sliding Doomerville down. Um, this is also kind of one of the flaws, um, is that that slot triangle here will not get pressed, I don't think. And then I'll set my, my defense up, and now what do I want to, where do I want to put my zones is the idea here. Well, I want to do this, I want to run zone on one side and man on the other side. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Jones here in a purple, put Webb in a flat, and I'm going to put Suggs in a hook zone. And then I'm going to user control uh, Smith. And now I know my responsibility is the left side hooks. Okay, so I'm going to start right and then I'm going to go to the left. So snap go, start right, go left. And now all of a sudden a lot of the gun snugs type of attack is, is immediately locked up. Because if you think about it, we confuse them at the snap of the ball. Because they're bo everyone's going to get pressed at the snap of the ball because of the two man under. And because of this flat zone we're putting web on. But... The difference, and why this defense, in my opinion, is special, is because of the fact that they don't know pre-step if it's man zone, because it looks the same. They, we're looking the same on both sides of the field. It could be man zone. It could be a blitz off the left edge. They don't know, and so now all of a sudden they see, oh crap, it's man, and is that we can take these guys here, McLean and them, and we can put them on purple zones, because that's going to get them to flow to the outside, and remember that this is an outside type of run. Then we like to crash our line out, so we're going to know we're going to get heavy pressure. And what I like to do is, you know, yellow my corners and cushion coverage because those yellows are going to play the run better. And now you see all of a sudden Saints Power O, if we use her the middle, it's, it's almost locked up. We hit, get a hit on the running back in the backfield. If we make that tackle, then we're going to be able to make that play. But you see the idea here, having different defense, because we know, and we also know, guys, like, you know, for example, we know that the fact that the majority of the passing from this formation is going to be to the left side. So what we may do is something like this. We may man up on them with, with Floyd and uh, McLean here. Man these guys up. User Elam, we know that we have the man coverage over there. We may go man on Hausler here. And then we're going to take Smith, put him in the deep blue zone, shade him to the left over the middle. So we have cover one robber type of technique here with still heavy pressure, and we're just leaving the running backs open. And then we just got to make a play with our user player. That's the idea. Having different defenses, you know, this may not be the defense for you, but developing different defenses for different formations. Uh, and do it in practice mode. Don't do it in the middle of the game. Do it in practice mode if you can, so that way you're prepared when you face stuff in game. You know, one of the biggest strengths of the shotgun spread, what is that? Well, the fact that they can throw those quick flat passes against not against defenses that are not uh, spread out. So develop a defense that can stop that. Things like that, guys. All these kind of stuff needs to go through your head when developing your defensive game plan. I think that this is one of the best tips so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more Madden 25 free tips and content. Also, guys, please like the video if you can. It really shows me that you guys appreciate the work I put in. Thank you for your time today. We'll see you tomorrow.